started my 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 professional life as a journalist. Uh, I, I went to uh, university in Montreal. I, I studied political science and communication, and I worked in newspapers. And I thought I was going to become a journalist, uh, but uh, at around 20, 21, I started watching lots of movies. Uh, movies from David Lynch, uh, Buñuel, Truffaut, uh, Antonioni, Fellini. One night, I remember, I, I fell in love with the movie Eight and a Half by Fellini, and it, for me, was kind of a, a revelation. Uh, and I decided that I, I, I was going to be that guy in the movie uh, uh, who played marvelously by Marcello Mastroianni, and he plays the director. Uh, so I. I thought I, I could be a director too, and, and uh, obviously I was not that naive, and I know it was pretty difficult, so I, I, I decided to finish my degree, and then I went to New York to do a film school, a very intensive uh, workshop, and, uh, and from then on, it was clear that I was going to embrace cinema as a, as a profession. I think, you know, film schools are definitely interesting to learn the medium, to learn about the medium and to learn about the technical side of filmmaking, but... I, I, you know, I actually don't recommend young filmmakers to only study film because, because I, I think it's very important to say something in a movie and to you, we're sharing uh, a message uh, with a with a larger audience and and if you've only studied film, um, it's harder for you to to speak about the world. The filmmakers that are the most interesting to me uh, come from a different background, uh, from you know. Uh, or studied philosophy, or or anthropology, or you know something totally different, or even doctors. Like there's some amazing filmmakers that were doctors and decided to make films. And so I think it's important to have some kind of life experience before you you start making films. I've done a lot of documentaries, and the first documentaries I made were art documentaries about about artists. So I they they were not really personal in that I was trying to. I was trying to extract the essence of the artist I was I was uh, uh, working with. Uh, with. So with François Girard, for instance, uh, the, the director of The Red Violin and the 32 short films about Glenn Gould, uh, I was very impressed by his, his work in the cinema and he started to do a theater and opera and I decided to document his, his approach uh, for the on these medium and for me it was kind of a, a, a discovery of opera and, and musical theater. And so I tried to learn through my subject in the documentary. Uh, for me, documentary is like a continuation of an education in a way. You, you get to learn so much uh, through people or through subject matter. Uh, in my latest documentary, Surviving Progress, it was a film about the, the fate of humanity and our modern civilization and the progress traps we fell into. And so uh, I learned so much about the world we live in, about the mechanism of our civilization, about the, about money, about debt, about uh, you know technology. And so it's 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 always for me when I, I start working on a project, it's always about what I'm gonna be learning and, and what I'm gonna find out. And uh, so in a way, documentary is fantastic for that because it, it allows us to to continue learning about the world. Writing a script is very hard. It's very, very hard. It's something that I don't like, actually. I, I, it's something that I struggle with, and uh, because uh, because it, it, it's so hard to put on the paper what you see on the big screen. I think that's the most difficult thing of the whole process, and and that's the part most filmmakers struggles with. The part we, I love the most obviously is shooting. I think shooting is the most exciting part. Uh, I, I, I decided to, to become a filmmaker because I like to, to write for a frame, you know, to write frames and to, to construct pictures and, and, and tableau. So shooting is obviously shooting and editing and I have a, an amazing editor, Louis Martin Paradis, who works with me on all my films and and it's important to, to get to get surrounded by collaborators that, that bring you elsewhere, that surprise you. Some, some directors work with people that always do what they want to, you know, but I like to be challenged by my collaborators and my editor is, is, is fantastic at, I learn from him. So in other words, I shoot a film and then I, I walk in the editing room and I see some stuff that he's done and he, I learn about the film, I learned stuff that I hadn't even imagined. 
And so I really love editing for that because it's a collaboration and you get out from your script and you, you, you start from scratch again and you write a new movie with somebody else and that's very uh, stimulating I find. And it's my first time in India uh, so discovering Mumbai is, is absolutely fantastic and uh, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the city. It's, it's got so many paradoxes and, and so much beauty, so much poverty, so much of, of, the, of, of everything, you know, of the whole spectrum, so much humanity. I'm very interested in India because I'm going to come back here to shoot a documentary next summer about the world food crisis uh, and I want to spend a lot of time with Indian peasants um, so so I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's a really great way to discover uh, it, to, to have a first contact with, with India that Mumbai and this festival uh, and you learn you know you meet Indian filmmakers and you meet uh, filmmakers from all over the world and and we get to travel and, and walk around the city together and, and meet with people so it's it's always, I think film festivals are always a great way to discover a country uh, because you, you meet new people and you're, you're stimulated, you see different films from all over the world, but you have time during the day to, you know, to discover the city. And um, So yeah, no, for me it's, it's a privilege to be here and I, I'm, 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 I try to do a little bit different neighborhood every day uh, and so I'm very, very grateful.